guys, it's Tom from Expert Surf Centre here. In this video, I'm going to show you how we wax a new surfboard. So, you've just bought your brand new surfboard, your new Pride and Joy. What I want to do in this video is just show you how we wax this up. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to put a base coat on, and then we're going to put a top coat on, which will depend on where you're going to be surfing. So, uh, yeah, hope you learned something and enjoy. Uh, check out the website www.xmassurfcentre.com.au for more videos and more tips. Here we go. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to use a glass cleaner just to clean this board. Even though it's a new board, we want to make sure we get rid of any dust that might be on there. Uh, it'll help the wax stick better. Once the board is clean, we can get our wax. You'll notice here I'm using a tropical wax from Creatures of Leisure. This is a harder wax. It works as a really good base coat. Doesn't matter what climate you're in, this is the first wax we we'll always put on a new board. This is going to save you tons of waxing in the long run. You'll notice here that, that to start off, I'm doing crisscross lines across the board. So I'm going up and down the board like this. Line from one rail to the other, we keep moving up and down like that. It will go the length of the whole board on a board like this because you might want to get to the nose. If it's a short board, maybe not. What you're going to do now is we're going to come back the same way. We're putting pressure on here as we crisscross these lines up and down. What's going to happen here, I'm going to go up and down the board probably at least two to three times on either side. What this is doing is it's giving us a grid which eventually the rest of the wax will be able to stick to. So once we've finished making this grid, we're then going to start working the wax in a circular motion like this. You'll see what will happen now as I do this, it'll start to build up. This is building lumps. Really hard to get those lumps if you don't do that first grid. This is giving you that solid grip right now. Um, this is still with the same base coat. I'll Probably on a board like this, I would use a whole block of wax almost, just on base coat. It'll save you a lot of waxing in a long time. You notice how I'm moving this in a circular motion across the whole board now and this is making a build up of wax. Once we're happy with the build up of base coat, we're then going to decide which top coat to put on. There's various different waxes depending on the temperature you're in. Generally speaking, the warmer the weather, the harder the wax and vice versa. Because we're in Exmouth, it's super hot, we don't need anything else, so this board's ready to go and good to surf. <laughs> 